In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a looping gradient background inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got a brand new sequence created, we first just want to begin by creating a brand new black solid. So we'll go into the project bin. We'll select the new item button and then go up to black video. Or alternatively, you can just right click in the project bin, new item, black video. Then we'll just press OK on this and drag this onto video layer one. Now at the moment you can see this is five seconds long. We can go ahead and make this longer. So we'll make this 30 seconds. So we'll just drag this over to 30 seconds. And now we have this 30 second black video. So from here, we'll just go into effects and you want to search for four color gradient, or if you just search for gradient, it should come up with four color gradient. Just drop that onto your black video. And as you can see, we've generated this four color gradient. Now from here, you want to make sure your cursor is at the very beginning. And we'll go ahead and create a brand new keyframe on 0.1 color one, 0.2 color two, 0.3 color three, 0.4 and color four. So all of these options here create a brand new keyframe. There you go. Now we're just gonna go ahead and change this upper left color. So color one is yellow. So we'll change that to a nice purple. So somewhere around here, press OK. Then we'll go to the top right. So color two is green at the moment. We'll go for a darker purple. So somewhere around here. Bottom left, I'm going to go for a pinky purpley color. So somewhere around here. And then bottom right, I'm going to shift that slightly more towards purple, but I'm going to keep that darkish again. And there you go, that's created this nice gradient. Now it's worth saying that if you're going for this color gradient effect, then you want to have four slightly different tones of the same color. So you don't have to have the same color, but if you wanted a purple gradient, then having a light purple, a dark purple, a slightly pinky purple and something else is going to make this nice gradient effect. Now moving down, we've got the blend and the blend is basically just going to create a more seamless gradient or a more visible gradient. So if we pull this down to five, you can see we're basically seeing those specific blocks. But if we pull this all the way up to 500, this becomes more of a soft gradient and therefore more of the desired effect that we're looking for. So I like to keep this at around 500. So now that we've created our keyframes and we've selected all of our colors, of course, we can always go ahead and change the position. So if I select point one, you can see we've got all of these different circles appearing. So top left is point one. Top right is point two. Bottom right is point four. And then bottom left is point three. And of course, if I move this around, you can see how the gradient is going to look. So from here, we're going to move across to five seconds. And we'll go ahead and create another keyframe on all of those options again. There you go. But this time, making sure you're still highlighted above those keyframes, you want to go into point one. We'll move this across. So we'll move that to the top right. So nudge that over to here. Then we'll go to this point and we'll move this down. So we'll move that down like this. Bottom right can go over to the left and then the bottom left can go up like this. So if we play this back, you can see we've got this nice animation taking place. Although at the moment, because the colors aren't animating, it's kind of a bit difficult to see. So making sure that you're hovering above those keyframes, we're going to go ahead and change color one to a nice orange. Then color two will change to a bluish color. Color three can go towards the reds. So somewhere around here. And then color four can go back towards those oranges as well. So somewhere around here. And there you go. That creates this really nice gradient. So when we go back to the beginning, select the composition and play this back, you can see we've got this nice gradient effect now taking place. Of course, if this is too slow for you, though, then all you have to do is just decrease the gap between those keyframes. So highlight all of those last keyframes, move them in closer, play that back. And that's now quicker. Of course, I would advise putting this towards a specific second. So let's go for two seconds. So we'll round that down. We'll play that back. And there you go. Now, from here, what we want to do is we want to copy all of those keyframes. So we'll highlight them all. We'll go Command C if you're on Mac. If you're on Windows, it's Control C. Then we'll move over to the four second mark. So somewhere around here. Then we'll go Command or Control V to paste. Then we'll copy all of those again. We'll move over to the six second mark, is it? No, this one's at six. So we'll go to the eight second mark and we'll paste those in. 
highlight all of those, copy those, we'll go to the 16 second mark. Now when we play this back, you should see we've got this infinitely looping gradient effect and it's animating from our purpley color into our orangey red color. And that will just keep bouncing back and forth between and just keep animating. Now at the moment, this looks a little bit harsh. It hits its point and then immediately bounces back. And this is because of the type of keyframe that we're using. We're using a linear keyframe, but we want to use an easy ease keyframe instead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the effect controls window. We'll go window, maximize frame. Now for some bizarre reason, this doesn't work on the color. So if I select all of the color one keyframes and I right click, for some reason, it doesn't give us the option to change the keyframe, but it does work on point. So we'll select point one and that should select all of those keyframes. Then we'll right click on one of those keyframes, temporal interpolation, ease in. Then we'll go down to point two, right click keyframe, temporal interpolation, ease in. Point three, keyframe, right click, temporal interpolation, ease in. And then the same thing on point four. Ease in. We'll close the window so we'll restore the frame size. We'll play this back. And as you can see, all of those point keyframes, all of those linear keyframes on the point have now turned into our easy ease keyframes. And when we play this back, this looks much more fluid. These keyframes aren't stopping and starting their action. They're just flowing into one another. And it makes this gradient animation look more seamless. Of course, you can always change the colors as this animates along. All you have to do is just go into those specific color boxes, add a specific keyframe, change the colors, and it will look great. Now, if you wanted to make this looping gradient over a certain amount of time, so maybe 20 minutes, for example, you could just make the black video 20 minutes and then copy and paste all of those keyframes in until you get 20 minutes. But the problem is that's just going to take forever. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the black video, we'll paste that. And then at the start of this black video, you can see we're starting on the purple keyframe. So just go to the end of the previous black video and then just go to the point where you see purple keyframe. So here, we'll make a cut there. So press C, make a cut there. Bring those two together. So this is our first, this is our second. We'll play this back. And as you can see, that's just going to continue the loop from 30 seconds into a minute. So you can go ahead, copy those paste those in and we want to do the same thing again so make sure this finishes on purple copy all of those make sure these finish on purple and there you go that's just going to keep infinitely looping until three minutes in my example but just keep doing this process over and over again and then once you've got to the desired duration all you have to do is just highlight all of the layers right click we'll go in nest and we'll call this gradient and there you go, your gradient background is now in one layer, and that means you can control this just as one video layer as opposed to all of those individual black videos. And there you go, that is how you create a looping gradient background inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you ever so much for watching, I really do appreciate your support, and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.